All right, so I've started to put the clear pieces in. I've changed my tactics on how I'm tackling it. I was going to start with the main clear piece and work my way down. I thought, no, it'd be better to put the sides in so I can get the, uh, the fuselage width correct for the clear parts. I cut a piece of sprue, wedged it against the bulkhead and the outer uh, the fuselage skin pushed it down in there so it come out to the right width so it's flush that way when this is all set and dry this should just drop in the top I'm not expecting a perfect fit but it should be close I did this side first so I glued the back corner because uh, it this piece if you just sit it there it'll go inwards of the grey styrene so I did that let it set then I run glue along the bottom held that to, till it's set then I put the wedge in to the right uh, width and I glue that in one one go because it was a nice fit when that's set then I glued the joins on those two pieces I'll leave that go off properly before I attempt putting that in and the nose bits I just glued them together they just plug on the end and we've already seen how the underside is going to be a nasty fit, so that will be next to deal with. Also, where's that? The torpedo ICM give you. This is actually a. I'm pretty sure you can buy this as a little kit. The uh, World War Two British torpedo. Um, so it's got the trolley. That the torpedo sits on I'm going to instead of putting it up into the fuselage where you won't see it I'm going to make the trolley and sit the torpedo on the uh, trolley just add visual interest to the aircraft uh, they call for the color the interior color for the trolley but I'm not sure about that I might just do something different. I had a look online, but obviously World War II's black and white photos. Uh, it looks like a dark colour, so I thought it might, might be yellow, but no, it was like a darkish colour, might be a dark green or something like that. Um, the torpedoes, I found different images. A lot of them are like bare metal with a black uh, nose section, and I found some that are just bare metal, and one was like uh, most like it was camouflage, but the top had colour and the bottom didn't. But so we'll uh, see what we come up with with that. Otherwise, once I get the uh, clear sections in and clean up that nose, which is the biggest part of the build to go, then it should be pretty much plain sailing. Uh, just adding a few more small parts and. Uh, do the undercarriage and that yet, but then I'll be into painting. I've made up this is the right side of the uh, landing gear, it's quite a bit in it. Uh, wheels, just two parts. So you got your main gear legs, uh, frame goes onto it, and you got a lower frame so that bit is here and that glues onto all this section uh, your parts it does matter which size which and they go a certain way they're designed the ends are different so you need to be careful how it goes together it's um, a bit unusual how it goes together but my only concern is I think it'll be all right, but when this bit sits into the lower bit, that it's that they're both going to be even, but it should be all right. All right, I got the uh, most of the uh, torpedo trolley together. I'll, no, that's the wheels for it. I'll paint them separate and put them on at the end. It'll be easier because. Uh, well, the trolley's all one colour, but the, they'll paint the wheels 
uh, rubber on the outer room for the rubber section. Uh, in the instructions, instructions call for this, for the uh, fins at the back. Uh, I'm not sure the frame if that's meant to frame to hold it in the aircraft better or or what. But all the those the uh, images I looked up online for the Beaufort uh, torpedoes, it, it's, they're just like this. So I just the part both parts are in the that little set. So I just made the one that I saw online. But yeah, I'm not sure the purpose of that, whether it was uh, in the water made it go better or it was actually just the frame that holds it up into the belly of the aircraft. I'm not sure, but I just went with what I saw online. I'm gradually getting this on. Uh, I've got this side on. It's pretty good. But this side's a bit gnarly. Uh, I've just glued it, so I've got the tape holding it, so I'm not removing it, but corners in. And you can see it's flush down here, but this section here, through here, has got a big, or oh, big, it's big when you're doing clear parts, it's probably half a mil, a bit more, which is pretty considerable. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun, cleaning that up, so I'm going to wait now until that's set overnight all that glue i'll remove that tape and i'm going to see how i'm going to tackle that uh, at the moment i'm thinking uh, scraping the clear back but you have to be careful you don't take too much of an angle because you'll see it you'll see it when you look down the side so i don't know I still don't understand why it's so far out I mean, I can't really say it's me because it's fitting everywhere else, so same as under the nose, so that, that's that part and that's where it's meant to fit. Why is there such a big gap? Disappointing. I've cleaned, uh, I think I showed I cleaned up that, I put some putty in the seam, so I've cleaned that up. So I've got the interior colours underneath the black primer, so that's ready for the... Uh, camouflage color I've made up the well made up all you gotta do is glue the hub the hub to the uh, oh, sorry the spinner to the hub I have still got to clean up the seam lines and I'm in the process of cleaning up the uh, engine covers the uh, cows got a go over and sand them, that's where the seam line was, so I'm going to go again, sand again, it's a bit lumpy there, I've got to clean up a bit more, and uh, the seam where you, uh, part of the exhaust is moulded to the cowl, and you get a glue piece on top, which leaves the seam line, so that's, I'm in the process of cleaning that up, uh, I've painted engine, the, oh both of them, that's, uh, so I've used AK Extreme Metal, dark aluminium for that uh, all you're seeing all you're going to see is the the front so I didn't worry about if the cow was open you can see that I'd paint in some different colours but you're not seeing it it's just the front so I'm just going with that I'll give it a wash but I'm not painting everything and you're not seeing it and the uh, legs landing gear legs uh, is AK Extreme Metal Aluminium. So you can see there's not much, I mean, it's barely noticeable difference between aluminium and dark aluminium. Uh, they need a clear coat yet. So that is where it's at.